Thanks to EA for inviting me to this early access event. Hi everyone, this is Haname Sims and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome in. And if you are a returning viewer, it's so good to see you and I hope you've been well since the last time. So today I am very excited to be back with a voiceover for this very special video. As some of you might know, I am a part of the EA Creator Network and I was so lucky to get my hands on the early access for The Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion Pack. You're probably going to be seeing all of these amazing simmers posting their videos and content around the same time as this video goes up as well. So once again, thank you to EA and The Sims for inviting me to this early access event. I really do appreciate it. And that is also why you will be seeing my username jumping around on the screen and why I am not able to use my beloved reshade and building mods. <laughs> I really can't wait to play with this pack once it drops and to have access to the rest of the packs as well. I also want to mention that this is not the final software, so who knows, maybe there will be a few changes in the released version. First of all, before I talk about this build, I just want to say that it has been such a long time since I chatted with you all on YouTube, but if you have been visiting my Twitch streams, it might not be that long time ago actually. Since I do stream every week, and if you want to hang out there sometime, come find me on Twitch at Haname Sims, the same username as here. I would love to see you there sometime. Okay, back to the build. If you have been keeping up with The Sims news, you might know that The Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack is all about horses. And that is why I am today building a renovated horse ranch barn, where the first floor is dedicated to the horses and goats and sheep, meanwhile the second floor is the home or apartment for up to four Sims. There are going to be two bedrooms and one bathroom, and this is of course built in the world of Chestnut Ridge, which is the new world coming with this expansion pack. The lot I am building this on is a 30 by 30 lot called Cantor Cottage. Chestnut Ridge is a very pretty western-like world where you have a mix of desert lots and some more green lots as well, which are perfect for that ranch lifestyle. It also has a town square with, for example, the horse riding center, a rabbit hole store where you can buy different things, and there will be some lots around there as well. I have played a tiny bit with the gameplay during my early access period as well, but not too much as I focused mainly on building. All the official builds in this world is made by fellow simmers as well, and they are Chrissy YT, Dr. Ashley, Simproved, and Ninster, and the latter is a fellow Norwegian simmer, which is really exciting. So congratulations to everyone on that accomplishment, and I can't wait for everyone to check out their builds and the beautiful Chestnut Ridge as well. One of my dreams is literally to make an official build in a world, so EA, hit me up if you need any build. <laughs> So as you can see, I have started making the renovated barn here. This is quite a small lot, so I wasn't able to make an area for the horses outside. However, on the right hand side of this lot, there is actually a big area for practicing with your horses. From what I know, your horses will be able to level up in four different skills, which are temperament, agility, jumping and endurance. And these are skills you will be able to use in competitions at the horse riding center in town and you will be rewarded with a prize if you're able to make it to the podium. Horses will also have three traits like a normal sim which will affect your ability to learn new skills and not to mention you will be able to create your own horses and create a sim as well. Kind of in a similar manner to how cats and dogs are made if you are familiar with that expansion pack. So there are different breeds to choose from, a few different main styles like their hair and stuff. You can customize their coat, color and pattern and even freestyle paint patterns onto their bodies. So if you want a horse with golden sparkles, well, you can do that. Fashion is not just for Sims. You can also choose a few different outfits and accessories for your Sims as well. So that's a little info on how to make the horses, but of course, if you don't want to do that, there are options to adopt horses, both foals, adults and elderly horses. The downstairs of this barn will, as mentioned earlier, be dedicated for the horses, but also for nectar making, which is a brand new activity and skill coming with this expansion pack. 
I absolutely love the new decoration items coming with this pack as well, such as the horse-related horse ones with accessories. There's some new kitchen clutter and new plants as well, which I just love. You gotta have plants everywhere, right? You can't have a Sims home without any plants. Like if there's an empty corner, you know I will be adding a plant there. That's just how it is. <laughs> and I think many of you can agree if you're a builder like me as well. In this expansion pack, you will also be able to buy and take care of mini goats and mini sheep. Sadly, they won't be able to reproduce or grow up to adults. They're just gonna be mini versions of sheep and goats. However, you still have to take care of them like any other animal and you can get milk and wool to sell from them. I do believe you, if you have uh, the cottage living expansion pack as well, you will be able to put that wool and milk into your inventory and use, and use it for different purposes, like cooking and maybe cross stitching if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I'm pretty excited to play with cottage living and horses and see how they interact since you can get cows, llamas and chickens with cottage living. And I'm just overall excited to build more farms and ranches, really, since farms and farmhouses are some of my absolute favorite things to build, even if I don't build them that often. But they just remind me of home, you know. So there are definitely some farm builds coming soon. The exterior of this house is going to be pretty dark. Here I'm using one of the new wallpapers or sidings coming with this pack, where I use a more lighter wood color as a secondary color. There are new farmhouse windows that I love and we can finally put our own shutters onto the windows as well. They do come in a few different swatches, but here I choose to go with just a simple white color to have a contrast uh, to the black siding. One concern I do have about the windows though are that some of them are pretty small. And to have a horse come inside the house, you do have to use a medium wall height. And then you might understand the issue that the windows are going to be a bit too small on that tall wall. We do have new open windows as well though, which are probably more fitting for the horses, where they can like stick out their heads and see the outside world, just like real life. <laughs> I can't forget to mention the brand new doors either, which I'm in so in love with. I've always wanted these kinds of farmhouse sliding doors and finally we have them. I feel like I'm going to use these everywhere from now on. The landscaping of this house I would say is pretty simple with some trees, flowers and can I just say I love that new debug fencing with the lights. It's really pretty and you can also make a functional, what is it called? It's the windmill thingy that I put aside here. I'm not too sure if that's what this version is called but yeah I think that's a pretty nice item as well. And I do believe it also has some lights on its body, so I do think this house is going to look pretty in uh, at nighttime as well. Under one of the roofs, you will find a new debug horse cart for, you know, you can attach it to a car in real life. However, that's not the way it's going to be for The Sims, unfortunately, but, you know, just a little uh, detail there that I thought was really cute. And I just love the new debug cars and anything related to that in general. And by the way, do you guys believe we will actually be getting functional cars in the future for The Sims 4? Let me know in the comments. The entryway to the second floor is going to be at the back of the house. So I have made a pathway with one of the new stone floorings to the back. I was kind of afraid there would be a weird layout on the second floor or for the apartment, but I think it turned out decent in the end. So you do have an entryway where you can hang off your jackets and stuff like that. And there's also a door to the bathroom as well. In this pack, there's a new bathroom set, like a brand new shower, a bathtub and a sink. I can't remember if there's a new toilet as well, but I don't, I don't think so, if I'm not totally mistaken. But we do have quite a few toilets in the game at the moment, so that wouldn't really bother me anyway, I feel like. <laughs> This apartment will be having two bedrooms, the main one and one for the kids. I'm using the brand new bunk bed in there as well, so you can fit two kids into one bedroom. 
and I'm just like overall using a lot of the new items of course but I do have to mention that a lot of the worn wooden textures from for some reason reminds me of Sims 3 textures in a weird way. I'm not sure if anyone's going to agree with me on this one but a lot of the wooden textures just don't look very Sims 4 to me. There are a few wooden swatches that I do like though and they're more clean and I really wish there was a clean wood version for the kitchen set, uh, for example. Like, just a clean white kitchen counters with light wooden um, countertops. Like, I would have loved that and it would literally make my modern farmhouse dreams come true. Because I do like how the counters and cabinet look, but I'm just not too sure about the textures and swatches is all. So in this house, I went for a darker swatch for the kitchen instead. And I didn't have space for an actual dining space here, so I ended up with just having the kitchen island as the dining space. And yeah, ideally I would totally want a dining room or just a dining table. The new couch and armchair that I'm using in the living room here though do have swatches I like. For the armchair, I especially love the white and floral pattern. The leather couch have a variety of colors and patterns to choose from. There are some faux animal print patterns, but also these more neutral striped patterns. So to go in style with the armchair, I chose a white and yellow striped pattern. The bedrooms are both pretty simple, I would say. As I mentioned earlier, I will be using the bunk bed in the kid's bedroom. There are a few new beds coming with this pack, actually. And the new single bed I'm using does have some of the cutest bed sheet patterns. Like there's two with unicorns, I think, two with horses and two for like with sheep. And there's also some more neutral patterns, which is always appreciated. There's also two new rugs that are just the cutest, but because they both have animals on them. And I feel like animal themed things are just the cutest in my opinion. And it just fits so well in a kid's bedroom. I feel like I don't have a lot more to say about this build, but let me just mention that there are still some more items that I haven't been able to show off in this build, mainly because I couldn't fit them all in. So just know that there are still more items to be excited for. I do hope you liked this build and the sneak peek on the new The Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack. If you're interested in checking out the new pack, make sure to follow the link in my description. The pack will be coming out on July 20th. And, you know, just once again, thank you to EA and The Sims for giving me early access. I do appreciate the opportunity. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. This build will be up on my gallery as soon as I'm able to upload it and share it with you. But it is already playtested, so you will be able to play in this house if you are getting the Horse Ranch expansion pack. My gallery ID is Haname Sims, or you can find me with the hashtag Haname Sims as well. I do know that there have been some recent gallery issues, so hopefully you will be able to find me if you want to check out my builds. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye! Maybe I was blind, on you forever while I tried to find someone that could be my great love. Right in front of me, I didn't realize you were my dream, so you took me by surprise, oh yeah.
even in my wildest dreams. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Boom. <laughs> I wasn't this kind of a woman. 